Well, since this car is on sale at the IMS gift shop, I figured I would do a diecast review on this car. It is the Fernando Alonso 2020 Camoa and Ruoff Hall Mortgage Chevrolet. This is a beautiful 118 scale diecast. I picked this up a while ago, but I'm now just starting to slowly roll around to the IndyCar reviews. I actually got maybe five or six more to go of these. And then we're going to do a mass collection video. We got collection videos of IndyCar across the board. Uh, we got the 2020 118s, the 2021 64s, and the t complete, and I mean complete, 164 IndyCar collection. And I'm talking like all 164s ever made from 2002. So, you might, so if you're interested in kind of videos like that, please click the subscribe button because you are going to be very impressed with that. But here is the Fernando car itself. The packaging is pretty standard for all the for the colors of the cars, and this car is white, blue, and green. So of course the packaging is going to resemble that. Uh, it's got the 66 for Fernando's number on there. Fernando Alonso, NTT IndyCar Series green light, and you got ages uh, adult collectible 118 scale contains one diecast vehicle. NTT IndyCar Series 66, you got 118 scale limited edition, green light, and adult collectible. Got the NTT IndyCar Series logo back here because guess what? That schedule is now outdated. Got the 66 Fernando Alonso, green light collectibles, number 66, got 118 limited edition, yeah. NTT IndyCar Series, green light collectibles, green light, and IndyCar on the box. Eric McLaren, Schmidt Peterson on the background with NTT IndyCar Series and number 66 on the backgrounds. Got all the copyright jazz, the IndyCar hologram, and there you go. You might want to shop right there to get the Fernando car on sale. And if you click this because you're look, you wanted to get you're looking from the IMS gift sale, the end of season sale, then congratulations. I hope I made your purchase. Uh, I hope I confirmed your purchase here. So let's see here. Let's take this thing out. There's the Fernando car out of its box. Let's see if we can zoom out to get an overall better image of it. There you go. Let's put this box over here. There she is. All in its beauty. Great looking die cast. I mean, it's a far cry from last year's car. Last year's had the McLaren Papaya Orange on it. And, uh, you know, the disaster that was of last year with Fernando Alonso. This year was just a little bit more smoothly. But it obviously could have went a lot better for Mr. Fernando. Now, of course, this car does not have the updated sponsors on it. Progressive and Citibank came on after this diecast was made. So, of course, it's not going to be on the diecast as, as this was a team approval. But, oh, actually, Citibank is on this car, but City, but progress, they have progressive, progressive logos all over the car when the Indy 500 was running around. But anyways, here we go. We got Aaron McLaren, you got Ruoff Home Mortgage, you got NTT IndyCar Series, you got Mission, you got City fin Private Bank, you got... Chevrolet you got 66. You got Ruoff Home Mortgage. You got Mission, which definitely is a McLaren sponsor. And let's see here. Anything on the side here? You got Fernando Alonso's official logo. You know you made it when you got your official logo in the car. Got Kamoa.com. Got Ruoff Home Mortgage. You got Chevrolet. Oh, you got Fernando Alonso's uh, karting school right there, I think it is. Or, or kart track. Oh, some, some of the diehard Fernando fans can tell me what that is. I think it's a go I think it's one of his um, kart tracks. Got P1, NTT, Firestone. Got Speedway. 66. PPG. Indiana Donor Network. Indiana Works, or whatever the heck that's, that, that logo is. Somebody somebody posted on their Instagram one time, and I remember what it was. I think it was Indiana Works or something like that. Got NTT IndyCar Series. You got Chevrolet. Got Kamoa.com. Got the Firestone Official Indy 500 tires. Got Fernando's number 66. Got Roth Home Mortgage. There's the back of the car, and you know what? Let me tell you. These, these 118s, man, they go all out with, with, with the... Uh, Detailing and the suspension pieces all down the back of the car. These are that is just incredible. And this side the same as the left. And I also forgot to go over the sponsors here. Let's see, we got. Let's proceed to flip it open here. We got Bell Mission and Ruoff Hall Mortgage. Make sure you go over those. 
no progressive logos all over the car because that was uh, done after this car was made, unfortunately. But, overall, this really is a far cry from last year. This diecast really blows last year's out of the ballpark. There's just something about it. You know me, I, the, com the color combo of, of green and blue mixed in with the Ruoff logos and the Kamoa logos, you know, all that really looks good to me. And again, the Ruoff colors on, on Sato's 500 window looked amazing. Speaking of the Sato, that 500 window should be coming out here relatively soon. But I think if you have last year's car and you want a nice upgrade, IMS, I believe, has this for 25 bucks on their sale. Shipping is not as outrageous as it used to be when it was owned by the Holman George family. I think, you know, it, it has not really gone that much cheaper but it's gotten more stable because it used to be absolutely ridiculous shipping an IMS. You wanted to buy one one sixty four, it was like nine friggin' dollars to ship it. But if you want to get like a bulk load or if you want to get a one eighteen, I think this is a good go. You know, the IMS has it on sale. I'll probably link the sale page in the comments. Probably sold out by the time this video even uploads, so we don't even know if it's still around. But you know, this is a really awesome car, and if I really wanted to uh, confirm the purchase there, you know, I think the twenty-five bucks is definitely worth it. This car was worth. This car is, uh, my opinion, it's worth sixty dollars. I would pay six. I paid the full price for when it came out. But if you want to pay the sale price, oh my God, it is absolutely worth it. I mean, it's a steal. You know, you go on that site, and I, 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 I bought. We got a mass haul video of that sale coming up. We really do. But if you're thinking about it. You're on the fence. I'm putting my stamp on this. Definitely pick it up. It is really, it's a wise, wise investment. I mean, you can't go wrong with the sale price on the on the car. But if you if you happen to miss out on it, or if it's sold out by the time this video uploads, definitely look into other sources and uh, try to try to hunt this thing down. Because it is, it, 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 it's either going to be like another 2019 scenario where the car was in the discount bin still at, at the beginning of this year or it's going to dry up like the 2017 one we don't know yet but overall very nicely done die cast i am very very pleased with it and i'm hoping that you know by doing this review i think it's going to be a little bit of a help there as far as your purchases go but you know the overall car itself is done incredibly well i mean you got the front of the car it's all colored white then you got a strip of blue surrounding the car. I mean, this is surrounding the nose, the tub of the car. Then you got the little wing plates here where it's blue and gold. You got the blue stripes on the nose of the car. It's coming right up towards the tub and right towards the aero screen. And right by the aero screen, that is a nice teal colored green. Very beautiful. Got the Kamoa logos on there, and it's a teal colored. Uh, aero screen there, you got the mission, you got the papaya orange on the mirrors. I mean, it's it's a nice color combination. You got the teal, you got the dark, you got the light blue, you got the white, and then and all of a sudden the papaya orange mirrors just pop up right there. Like the, the, the signature McLaren just pops up right there. It is amazing. Got the number 66, which is kind of, uh, well, it's a nice little pattern to it. It's got nice little stripes going through the six. It looks very, very nice. Much nicer than last year's 66, I'll tell you that. There's the 66 again. The side pods are colored white. Top of them are colored blue. Engine covers all blue. The roll hoops all colored blue. The TV pods colored blue. The, I call these air flakes, but they're real, I don't know what they're really called. The floor is all same color, it's colored black. Uh, the Firestone 500 tires. Then you got the what, got a yellow stripe on the wing. That, that's, that's a nice little fine little detail right there. That's pretty cool. Overall, I am extremely pleased with this. I mean, I when I purchased this, I thought this was amazing. I was nonstop looking at it for a solid couple days. This was amazing. I, I think it's just a far cry from the previous years. I mean, absolutely beautifully done. And I'm hoping that 
at the end of this video, go to the IMS sale page if it's still up and purchase this fine product. Comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race Day 29 reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying. It does get better. The diecast kid is always happy to see it.